I created my own club in FIFA and after years of working hard going from division to division, we're finally in the Premier League. Along the way, we've had so many struggles to endure. From being almost bankrupt to losing an FA Cup final. Signing deals with Prime and Adidas have completely got us out of bankruptcy. But there is still one wrong that we can right. That painful night at Wembley where we lost the FA Cup to Man United, it's time for revenge. We recently knocked out Liverpool from the Carabao Cup, meaning that we're in the quarterfinals. Can we once again go on a magical cup run and this time finish the job? Well, that's the dream and we're gonna give everything to get our first major trophy. Alright boys, welcome back to the Creator Club series. Our team is looking better than ever. But tell you what, planning our team for the Premier League has not been easy. We've lost out on a lot of key players. Daru Burns pretty much, man. So painful to lose him. But I think you guys would agree we did the best we could in the window, signing the likes of Dane Scarlett, Rico Lewis, Kubo, Nick hope as well. But still, the Premier League has not been kind to us at all. In fact, a lot of teams are struggling. But yeah, we're 13th and it's it's going to be tough to break into the top half of the table, but we'll try everything. But in other news, there is a genuine chance of us winning a cup competition. This would be huge for the club. Our first ever trophy. Oh my god, we're up against Aston Villa in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. That is a genuine shot at us getting all the way to the final. We're just going to have to believe. Now we do have almost a month and a half before that crucial quarterfinals game. So for now, I think our focus should be to get as high up as possible in the Premier League. And so let's get to work against Crystal Palace. Here we go. Paulinho with a lovely ball for Takifusa Kubo yet to score his first goal. And he's going to have to wait. All right. We got Paulinho taking this free kick first. It's a good ball. But why is Kubo the one attacking? Oh, Dinner. it might still work. No. How do we not score? Uh oh, uh oh, that turn nope. was on real. McGinty with a save. Wait, no. What do we just concede? the penalty? You're kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Nah. Decided to play McGinty in this game over Nick Pope. Easy. And, oh, he was a bit too late. Can't believe we conceded. I think we need a bit of Isco magic here. That's a lovely ball for Dane Scarlett. Wins the header. Not enough. And that's how this game ends. A 1-0 defeat. A silly penalty. Ah. Anyways, we've got a press conference question from you guys. I feel like signing Nick Pope is just unfair on McGinty. Can't lie. That's something I've heard a lot. But I feel like if we want to build a competitive team, we need competition. And McGinty needs a bit of competition himself. And it's not like we're not playing McGinty. He's playing all the cup games for us. So if we're going to win the Carabao Cup, we'll need McGinty to be in insane form. And I'm still playing him in a few Premier League games here and there. It's just that Nick Pope, he's that kind of guaranteed performer that can deliver for you in the big games. And that's what he's shown so far. I think it's a good balance having two really good keepers that we can rely on. Plus, McGinty is still growing and I think he's still going to continue to grow. For a moment, let's just forget about the Carabao Cup. The way we're playing in the Premier League, it's it's not looking likely that we'll survive at this rate. We need to start picking up results. Honestly, guys, we really need to see more from Takefusa Kubo. The Japanese Messi, we call him. Yet he's failed to score a single goal for us. He was the man to replace Dara Burns, but at this point in time, he can't lace his boots. This is the kind of game Kubo needs to announce himself to the world. I think I also need a bit of passion back into the team. So the captain, Berry, is back in the lineup. Go on, Take. We need to see your dribbling. We need to see that dribbling. Oh, he's managed to break through. Uh, but in the Premier League, I think it's just the physicality that's letting him down. Dara Burns was ready for every challenge that came on him. That was basically like the big difference, I think. Arsenal look good, man, honestly. But we've got Scalvini. He's up to the mark and driving the ball forward. Go on now. Kubo, this is your chance. We need you to go on a bit for dribble. Go on, Take. That's more like it. That is more like it from Kubo. What a ball for Tyler. Scarlett has to be. Let's go. We take the lead against Arsenal. That was amazing build-up play. Starting all the way back from Scalvini. I really love the way Takafusa Kubo played that pass. More from that. More of that, please. Can't lie. This might be so far at least. I know it's only been 20 minutes, but our best performance in the Premier League, there's just something different about the side. We're playing with a lot more character, which is awesome. As here's Tyler. Looking for the ball for Scarlett. Now Raul Lopez. We're moving the ball nicely. Inside for Tyler. That is another one. We're tuning up against Arsenal. And it's two fantastic goals. Oh, Scarlett. Big mistake from Arsenal. We're going to score another one. No, they just about survived. We could have ended the game. Tyler. Oh, that's a smart ball for Scarlett. And he makes the most of it. 3-0 in 30 minutes. This is the shock of the season. Out of nowhere, we've produced the goods. And this gives me confidence for the Carabao Cup against the 
big teams with the way we play, we're able to do a lot of damage. And that's why we knocked Liverpool. That's why we're beating Arsenal now. Hopefully, that's why we'll win the Carabao Cup. For now, though, Arsenal are done. And that win puts us in a more comfortable spot, but only three points clear of the relegation zone. Oh, I thought we were going to build some momentum, but instead we take an L to Southampton. But thankfully, we managed to beat West Brom. Can't lie, we're super inconsistent, but at least we're slowly moving up the table. Guys, one thing I've realized, it might be time for us to sacrifice Isco. Guys, he's just getting worse and worse physically, and I'm feeling he's not able to control the midfield anymore. He was amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, in our championship season, Isco was stellar, but I think for now, I'm going to make Berry a, a starter for us. I just think he's better than the rest right now, because Isco, he's fallen off. That's the best way to put it. It's time to trust in Berry once again. Should we transfer this Isco and generate some cash from him? I think that might be the play, you know. He's worth about 17 million. We got him for free. I think we do it. I I'm sorry, guys. I love Isco, but you look at this season from him. 14 games, zero goals, zero assists. He's done his job. He served the club incredibly well. I think we need to move on, though. Let's get back to winning some games in the Premier League. Is this the moment we've all been waiting for? Takefu Sagubo to prove to the world and get his first Bruh. goal. He puts it wide. I can't lie, boys. Takefu Sakubo so far, he's not looked the part, man. He's he's not looked like that guy, the Dara Burns replacement. Hopefully, that will change. But so far, he, he's not been the man. But that might change right now itself. Kubo with the chance and he gets the goal. Immediately proven myself and all the doubters wrong. That's fantastic. More of that, please, from Takefu Sakubo. Very lovely ball inside for Tyler. And that's a brilliant header to wrap this game up. We're getting the result against Nottingham. This is going to be tough because we've got Newcastle United next. Is it me or Berry's always there in these positions to drive the ball forward? Gets an assist for Dane Scarlett's goal. 1-0 already. Berry is captain. And boy, is he dominating the midfield. We got Max Holmes playing. He's not really been part of the first team, but we know what he can produce. Max Holmes here with a chance. Oh, it's just not been his season. Uh-oh, we've conceded a penalty, and I guess here we'll see Nick Pope versus Easy. McGinty. And I'm telling you, there's something about Nick Pope. Okay, this is bad, as Dolberg has just broken through completely. Denied. Nick Pope, that is huge from him. And we get the win. Nick Pope, man of the match for sure. And here we are, boys, getting transfer offers from Borussia Dortmund, as well as Manchester United Frisco. 19 million and 18 million. Do I want to take it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. I, I kind of want Isco to be there if and when we do win the Carabao Cup. So I'm thinking do we just wait it out a little bit? Oh, but then we lose out on value, I think. Oh, it's a tough one. You know what? I think we'll wait. I think we'll wait. For all what Isco has given to this club, I really feel like I want him there in case we're, we're there to, you know, win the Carabao Cup. I think it'll be emotional to have him on the pitch. We sadly take an L against Aston Villa, which isn't good. Aston Villa are our opponents in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Losing to them has got me a bit worried. But yeah, we get through a couple more games in the Premier League and after 18 games, basically the halfway point of the season, we're 13th in the league, 22 points. Honestly, for our first season in England's elite league, not too shabby. Also guys, if you remember, in our Adidas contract, we had to give four players in the team Adidas boots and I think it's time we do that and complete that objective. I kind of want to give the OG players the Adidas deals, you know, so the first one's going to be Iñaki Jimenez. Guys, I can't lie, these Adidas red boots or with a bit of black and gold. Oh, they look real nice. What do we give Raul Lopez, man? I'm thinking we can go for a classic design. I can't lie. I'm digging these white boots. They look real cool. Of course, we're going to get my boy Berry some new boots as well. Let's see which ones. What's going to suit Berry? Ooh, some black F50s. Those look nice. I think we need to give Max Holmes a boots that can get him some goals, man. Honestly. What about this design? Uh, The Copa 21 Plus Champions Edition. Well, let's run with this. There you go. We've completed that objective. It is now time for our Carabao Cup journey to begin and a lot can happen here. Yeah. We're up against Aston Villa. As I said in the Carabao Cup, we're going to have McGinty playing. Berry, of course, is going to play and also I'm going to trust Max Holmes. <coughs> oh, Takefu Sakubo getting taken out there. Come on. Kubo finding a bit of space. Still Kubo, still keeps going. Takefusa Kubo off the post. That is so unlucky. Yo, Kubo has certainly just come alive. Looking for a ball inside for Tyler. Tough angle, but he makes it work. We take the lead against Villa. Are we going to go on a historic cup run once again? Takefusa Kubo. Kubo again. 
Oh, he's put it wide. We're creating so many chances. Aston Villa can't compete. We're in the mood. Go on, Kubo. He's having the game of his life right now, Kubo. What a ball for Holmes. Diving header, but he puts it wide. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, there's something special about Berry. He's just been unbelievable in this episode. Isco is out of the first team with how good Berry's playing. And we've got a chance to get another goal. Max Holmes, let's go up and wanting to see him score at this level. And there you go. Gets us a goal in the Carabao Cup. We're not going to stop in this competition. I want to win this cup. Oh, Take, go on. Oh, that nutmeg was ruthless. Patterson, inside. We deserve to score. Guys, th this is why he's now the Japanese Messi. Look at him over here. Shifts the body inside. Oh, he opens up his legs. It's a clean nutmeg. Look at that. No, no, no. They still have a chance. No, no. That can't be a penalty. Ibsen Rossi for the second time conceding a stupid penalty. Come on, McGinty. Prove yourself that you're no less than Pope. Easy. Ibsen concedes. No, 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 no. We've completely bottled it. 84th minute. Villa are back in this. Guys, we need some changes. Tyler's coming off for Dane Scarlett. And maybe it's time for a bit of Isco. But who do I bring him on for? Raul Lopez has not had the best of games. Maybe him because Berry is flying. No way. I completely forgot the Carabao Cup directly goes to penalties. No. Oh, McGinty. You need to prove yourself here. You need to prove yourself yet. McGinty has done exactly that. Come on. We need to do the job, though. We need to score. Come on, Dane. Put this one in the back of the net. Easy. Dane Scarlett. One nil up. We've got the advantage. McGinty, prove the world that you are capable. Good. That, that was a Penenka. Maxi boy, your chance. We don't want to go home now. We don't want to go home now. And we're not going home as of now. Come on, next one. Traore. Oh, I thought I'll stay down the middle. Didn't work. No way Isco misses. No way Isco misses. Oh, it's a beautiful penalty. We've been perfect so far. If we can get a save in now, it's Correa to take this one. Oh, the wrong way with McGinty. Kubo has had a stellar performance. If there's one player you'd bet your house on to score this pen. Great. Well, it would be Kubo but no he misses he misses next one oh come on pressure's on us our carabao cup dream could come to an end unless paulinho can score this penalty can paulinho put this one in Easy. he just about does and we survive sudden death mcginty needs to save us Easy. here but he's not able to. What do we do now? Callum Berry, our captain. The world's pressure is on him. And he misses. No. No. It's over. Everything we aimed for in the Carabao Cup, we've completely bottled it. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. And it's Berry of all players who ends up missing. It's brutal for the captain to take all this responsibility. I can't believe this has just happened. I can't believe this has happened. The worst thing is, Man City were out of the competition as well. We had a genuine good shot of winning it. Aye, aye, aye. It's, it's brutal. And that's, that's the beauty of cup competitions. We're yet to make a final since that one against Man United. But hey, we'll keep trying. Let's just brighten up the mood a little bit because I'm feeling a bit sad. Let's just check what the S2GFC Twitter is saying. All right, the next Japanese Messi. Welcome to S2GFC Takefusa Kubo. Yeah, literally, I think it's the right time to do this tweet because it's literally now that Kubo has woken up and he's finally looking really, really good. I'm hoping he can keep this up. He's going to be the next Modric Agent 007. I'm glad that isn't the case. He's got his goal and he's looking better than ever. Ooh, this was a bad transfer. Probably the worst of the series. He can't run. He's so stern. Will not fill the Dara Burn shoes. Guys, give him time. This was another one of the controversial moments. New signing, new competition. Nick Pope or McGinty. Let's see the replies. 100% McGinty. Man made crucial saves to get S2GFC to where they are. 100% agree. Even sacrificed his children. Yup, I remember that. Can't compare a club legend to the newcomer. That's 100% true. This is hilarious. We talk about Nick Pope and everything and then he ends up doing something ridiculous against Liverpool in real life. Yep, exactly. I signed Nick Pop and he gets sent off. We have two more games until the January transfer window where we can once again start improving the team. And of course, we've got the money to do exactly that. Plus, we're still considering what needs to be done with Isco. Now that Isco, well, that, you know, the Carabao Cup pipe dream is gone, I'm maybe considering to sell him. Let me know in the comments. We'll figure that out in the next one. For now, though, it's time to get some wins in the Premier League, starting with Leeds United. Okay, what is this pace there? Scal 
Rooney has done really well to track back, but this is dangerous. Nope. Wow, Nick Paul, brilliant save. Oh, this is looking a bit dangerous. I must say so myself. And Leeds United keep attacking. Oh, that was so close. Okay, now this could lead to something. Yes, Berry on the attack. I need you to make that run, Tyler. Brilliant run. Here goes David Tyler. Chance to win us the game. And Tyler puts it in the back of the net. This could be crucial three points in the Premier League. No way. The job might not be done yet because they've got a chance and Nick Pope saves us. And that's how the game ends. Oh, that is crucial three points. I'm playing Isco in this one because this could genuinely be one of his last ever games for the club. Hopefully he can get on the score sheet. I'll get an assist. Max Holmes controls the ball nicely. Would love a goal from Max Holmes. But with that, he's not scoring. Once again, we're so deep into this game and we're yet to score. Maybe Dane Scarlett can help us get that. But no space whatsoever. We're trying to break through this defense, but it's not been easy. Joe Bellingham after a while playing a game for us. Back into Bellingham. Oh, we've just wasted that. And that's full time. Nothing from this game. It's a boring nil-nil. And so we head into the January trans window. Actually, the respectable 11th place. That's not too bad. We're not going to really be in a relegation battle. We're like nine points clear, which is great. First season, I think we're doing wonders. In other news, the offers keep stacking up Frisco. I think next episode, we pull the trigger, get the 18 million for a player we literally got for free. We should then have about 50 million and we can legit sign an absolute baller in that midfield. I think that's got to be our game plan. Let me know what you think. And also out of nowhere, Brighton want to tempt us to join them and their project. Do we accept this? What even? 